Hello and welcome to my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these lovely little earrings. They're quick and easy to work up. I'll show you the back. Before we get started, I just wanted to share the measurement of our little earring. So it's without the fish hook loop. And this is the back. It's like a little less than two inches. And then the front I use across is a little less than an inch, okay? So that's our measurement for our airing. So these are supplies we're going to be using. I'll go over them with you. I'm going to be using an embroidery floss. The number I'm using is the 741. It's the orange. We need one of that. And the crochet hook that I'm using is the B1. It's the 2.25 millimeter. And we need two of our little fish hook earring and this is the package the one I use came from okay and I'm using instead of a yarn needle I'm using a sewing needle I think it works better for this little small project that we have so I put that information in the description below which one I use but go ahead if you prefer using your yarn needle you have a scissors and we're going to be using a needle nose pliers. I got that for my husband toolbox. So just letting you know. So these are supplies. So let's get started. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot stitch. If you hear me call the embroidery floss yarn, just please forgive me. <laughs> so we're using the embroidery floss. So if you hear me refer back to the yarn, it's the embroidery floss. Okay, so we're going to start with a slip knot. And this is how I prefer to do it. If you have a different method, go ahead and use it. I'll show you how I do mine. I take the embroidery floss, let it fall to the back of my two fingers, take my hook, put it between my two fingers, and pull up a loop off the embroidery floss. See, I have a little knot, and just pull it against my hook, and that's it. We're going to chain three, and the chain is yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through so that's our three chain that we're going to start off with so now what we're going to do is we're going to put one double crochet in the third chain from our hook the first one would be right here second one is right here and the third is here so we're going to put one double crochet in that chain right there so before you go into that chain yarn over and then go into that chain remember it's the third chain from your hook pull up a loop off the embroidery floss you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull across the first two loops on your hook there you go two loops remaining on your hook yarn over and pull across those two to complete it and that's it so that's your double crochet in the third chain from your hook so now we're going to chain one remember chain is just yarn over your hook and pull across that's it so now in that little space right here because we remember we did the double crochet there's a little space right there you're going to put five double crochet the double crochet again is yarn over and then you're going to go into that little space right there you're going to see it open up more as you put more double crochet in so go ahead and try it you see it so remember it's three loops on your hook yarn over and pull across the first two loops Right, I'm going as slow as I can, so I'm dropping some of the embroidery floss. There you go. <laughs> so now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull across those two. There you go. So remember, a double crochet is you're going to yarn over. And we're going to go into that space. No, it's a little hard right now to see. But the more I put more double crochet in, you see the space is there. So pull up a loop. 
and then you have the three loops on your hook yarn over and pull across the first two loops and then you have two loops remaining on your hook yarn over again and pull across those two and that's your first double crochet made so we have to put four more show you again yarn over go into that space right there pull up a loop of yarn three loops on your hook yarn over and pull across the first two loops two more loops left on our hook yarn over to complete it pull across all two of them there you go so now you go ahead and put because we need five so go ahead and put three more and see the little open it would get a little bigger so go ahead and do three more double crochet and i'll meet you there okay so we put five so that's how it looks with the five double crochet so now we're going to turn it a little bit because now we're going to work up this side we're going to put four double crochet on this side so yarn over remember and then go into this little space right here and you're going to put four double crochet so when you finish putting four double crochet i'll meet you there and i'll show you what to do next so we went ahead and placed four more double crochet on the other side and this is how we look so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two i'm going to chain remember it's just yarn over and pull through that's it so that's one two so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the center where we I'm working like on this side we're going to put one single crochet so go right in the center a single crochet is you go into that space and then pull up a loop so you have two loops on your hook and then yarn over and you're going to pull across two of them at the same time and that's a single crochet so that's how we look for the completion of round one so now to start round two what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet right into the center where we just put that single crochet double crochet again remember is yarn over and you're going to go into that space pull up a loop of yarn and then you have three hook three loops of yarn on your hook yarn over and pull remember across the first two loops there you go and now with those two loops to complete the double crochet yarn over and just pull across two of them that's it so now we're going to chain one and basically what we did in round one we're going to do here again so now we're going to put five double crochet around that this double crochet we just did it's like what we did for round one we're going to do again so the crochet the we did is up here so you don't want to put it up here but you want to put it in here there's a little space right there and the more you do it you see the bigger it, the more double crochet you put in there the bigger the opening will get when you see it okay so that's what we're going to do put five double crochet so I'll start you off with one yarn over and just go into that little space pull up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over pull across and then one more time yarn over complete it pull across so that's it so it's going to open up like i said the more you do it so do four more and i meet you there and show you what to do next so we did that we put those five double crochet there so now we're going to have to go over over here and work to the other side so to get there are you going to do is just turn it i say tilt it tilt it and you're going to double crochet four times and make sure you don't go into this chain two space that we did because you could see it from here a little better to chain two space but not there over here on this other side of our little scale because this is called the crocodile stitch okay so refer to it as scale so just put four double crochet there and the more you do it you see it tilt and it forms up and then you see how it shape out okay so just put four double crochet and when you finish that i will meet you there and show you what to do next so we did that for four more times and this is how we look 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to single crochet, remember, into the center. So it's like similar to what we did for round one. So go into the center, pull up a loop of embroidery floss, and then you have two loops on your hook. To complete the single crochet, just pull across two of them at the same time. Completed round two. So now for to start round three, you're going to double crochet because we're going to do everything we just did for round two. We're going to do for round three. And then go into the center. Remember with that first double crochet for round three. Chain one. And then remember, you're going to open it up a little bit if you need to. So you know where to go right there. And you're going to put five double crochet right there. And then when you finish doing the five, remember you tilt it a little bit, turn it to work up the other side over here. Not where the space, um, chain two spaces, remember, but here you're going to tilt it and work up this edge right here. So it's everything we did for round two, you're going to do for round three. And when you finish that, I'll show you what to do next. So we did that. We put our single crochet in the center. So you're going to start round four, and this will be your last round. So basically everything we did again for round two and three, we're going to do for round four. But when you get to your four double crochet at the other side, when you tilt it, I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next, okay? So remember again to start a new round, round four. You're just going to double crochet into the center and then you're going to put five double crochet to start off with and then four on the other side when you tilt it, okay? Okay, so we did that. We followed a pattern. So we did up to four double crochet. So I'm being this is our last round to do. So what we're going to do is put to match up because remember we've been putting five double crochet to start off with. So we're going to complete it by putting another double crochet. So we make five. Okay. Because when we did those chain two and single crochet, that was to make our five double crochet on the other side before we completed the other scale, the other part of our crocodile stitch, okay? So just so we're aware of that, make sure. So now you're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna go into the center and we're gonna slip stitch right into the center. A slip stitch is go into that space, and then you're gonna pull up a loop, and then we're gonna pull straight across the other loop we have on our hook. Now be careful not to split any of my little embroidery floss as I do it because you're trying to make it tight. It's like a hole. There you go. And now to fasten off, what you're going to do is chain one and you pull up a little tail because we're going to have to tuck it in and hide it. So I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut it off and that's it. And then I'll show you what to do next, but go ahead and make another one exactly alike what we just did because we need two of them. So I won't show you how to do the other one, but go ahead and do exactly what we did here. And then when you finish that, I'll meet you there. So I went ahead and attached my sewing needle to my embroidery thread. It's substituting for my yarn needle, okay? So I'm just going to show you how to tuck in the top part go ahead and tuck in the bottom part the same way too because we're just hiding the tail okay so just go to the back pick up a few of the little stitches in the back I don't want it to come out in the front so that's what I'm trying not to make it show and just do your best to hide it as you go along okay
so that's it that's how I tuck it in hide the little tail so go ahead and do it for the other one and then I'll show you what to do next so this is how we look when we tuck it in this is the front and this is the back front and the back this is the other one show you how to attach the little fish hook earring loop to our actual crochet earring if you see the package how I have it, it came you see where the opening is so we're gonna take our pliers and I'm just gonna pull against it to open it up that's all I'm gonna do it's gonna take me a little bit of time to just pull it apart so I don't want to pull it too much but that should be enough okay you could gauge it when you see it and how much you need so I think that's good so now what I'm gonna do is just find the middle and the right side of her little crochet vertical crocodile earring I'm gonna put it So that's it we did it simple and easy and fast little project and it came out pretty nice I like when we tilt it and how it actually came around it looks really nice so go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other one I won't show you how to do that one okay so go ahead and do the same thing that's it we're finished we complete making our earrings think they came out pretty nice i like them i like them a lot so thank you for watching bye bye